クリスマスまで一週間だけですね。それで皆さんは贈り物とクリスマスツリー、クリスマスの飾りと美味しい食べ物を考えているでしょう。It's only one week till Christmas, so I think everyone is thinking of Christmas trees and decorations and gifts and delicious food. しかし、それで何が一番最高の贈り物でしょうか But What is the very best gift, the one, most wonderful gift of all? Moto mo suburashi o kurimono wa nan de shou ka? Sore wa kyo no wa dai to natte imas. That's our subject for today. We're going to talk about the best gift. Saiko no kurimono ni tsuite hanashimas. Omo no seiku wa matai ni shou i s e t s kara ju i s e t s des. Demo i r o e no seiku o pick up shite wo ka chi ai tai to omo imas. Our main Bible passage would be Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 11, but I'm going to pick up and share various Bible verses. Now, I think everyone remembers the Annunciation. That's when the angel Gabriel went to Nazareth and appeared to Mary and told her that she was blessed because she was going to become the mother of the Savior. So, I think e v e r あの、天使ガブリエルは、なぜでの街で、マリアのところに行って、その前に現れて、おめでとうございますとお伝えしましてね、お前は救い主のお母さんとなるので、そのお次は素晴らしかったでも、最初はマリアはちょっと困っていましたでしょう。もう、少女で、どうそのことが不可能になるかと、もう疑問がありました。But Mary, of course, was a little bit concerned at first because she was a virgin. She says, Well, how can this be? You know, this doesn't make any sense. So let's look at a few of the key verses. Omo no seiku o skoshi wo kachibas. Luka isho sanju sets kara. Suru to tinshi wa itta, Maria osoreru koto wa nai, anato wa kami kara megumi o itadaita. Luke chapter 1, verse 30 and following. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Going to Luke chapter 1, verse 34. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, so the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. です。So this is to be a miraculous pregnancy. 奇跡の妊娠のことになるでしょう。もうマリアは男の人と肉体的の関係なくても、もう奇跡で妊娠されて、神様の精霊の力によって。So it's a miraculous pregnancy.、Uh, Mary hasn't had relations with any man. She's a virgin, but The power of God through the Holy Spirit comes on to her and makes her pregnant. And the one to be born will be the Son of God. So, the one to be born will be the Son of God. So, the one to be born will be the Son of God. Now, what about Joseph? Mary is engaged to Joseph, and Joseph doesn't,、uh, doesn't know about this yet, you know, so God sends the angel to tell him as well. Well, Joseph is not the one to be born. And this is in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. She will give birth to a son in year to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. その子、イエスと名付けなさい。この子は自分のためを罪から救うからである。So what does the name Jesus mean? イエスという名はどういう意味でしょうかこれは
もう主は救いであるという意味です。It means the Lord is salvation. And now Jesus has come, the Lord God in the flesh, and he is bringing salvation. So t h e s e s は来られて、この世に入ってくださって、もう受肉して、もう救いを持ってくださるのですね。もとらしてくださるのですね。それで、もう、ダブリの町で、あなた方のために救い主がお生まれになった。この方こそ、主、メシエである。これも、天使によって伝えられる言葉ですね。その当時の羊飼いたちに伝えられて、羊飼いたちは、もう生まれたばかりのシエスのところに行って、拝んでいました。Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. And this also is a message from an angel, but this time to the shepherds in Bethlehem. And the shepherds go and they worship the newborn Jesus. That's in Luke chapter 2, verse 11. Luke 2章、注意節のところですね。Now, if you look at this slide, この絵を見たら星が目立ちますね。That star really stands out, doesn't it? And this is the star we call the star of Bethlehem or the Christmas star. これはベツレヘムの星、またクリスマスの星と呼ばれている星です。It appeared suddenly when Jesus was born. シエスが生まれた時に突然現れた星なんです。And This star's appearance was prophesied more than a thousand years before the time of Jesus. この星の現れは、もうシエスの時代より千年以上前にもう予言された言葉でしたね。それは、ベールの子、バラムの言葉、メンスキ24章17節のところ。And that's by Balaam, son of Beor, all the way back in Numbers chapter 24, verse 17. こういうことです。私は彼が見える。しかし、今はいない。彼を仰いでいる。しかし、間近でではない。一つの星がヤコブから進みでいる。一つの釈迦がイスラエルから立ち上がり。I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star will come out of Jacob. A scepter will rise out of Israel. So there's a new star appears in the sky at Jesus' birth. もう、シエスが生まれた時は、もう、空のな、新しい星が現れました。それは、もう、もちろん、遠いところからでも見えるものですね。And of course, you can see that star even from far, far away. And far away in the east, there were some wise men who saw the star. もう、遠い、東方の方では、もう、この、星を見た博士たちもいました。They saw the star and they recognized that it was the fulfillment of a prophecy and they set out on a journey. この博士たちは星を見てその遠い国へ旅立っていきました。Now, where did they come from? どこからでしょうか聖書に記録されていませんが、もうペルシャ、また、現代のイランという地方から来たと考えられます。Where did these wise men come from? Well, we don't know exactly. It's not recorded in the Bible. But scholars generally think that they were probably from Persia, which is what we consider modern day Iran. Now, from there to where Jesus was, was a journey、uh, perhaps by road by 2,000 kilometers or more of distance. これはもう道のりは2000キロメートル。キロメートル以上だったかもしれませんね。もう遠いパルシェの方からシエスがいる場所、別の辺までの旅でしたね。And of course, these are learned men,、uh, they're scholars,、uh, they're probably not real young, もちろん。この博士たちはもういろいろ学んできたもう年配の方でしょう。若い人ではなかったと思います。So they set out in this long journey. もう遠いところまでの旅に出かけていきます。And of course, they have to worry about weather and avoiding robbers and、uh, caring for themselves. もちろんそれはもう天気のことを考えながら、また泥棒を避ける必要があって、もう自分たちの身のことも考えなくてはいけないということでした。
So it probably took them a year or more to make this journey. So they mo kono tabi wa ichinen ijo kakatta to kangairari ru no des. Now I've been calling them wise men, uh, but in the original language, of course, they're magi uh, and are magi, and that's the old English translation as well. Uh, so we can call them wise men, or we can call them magi, or various other things. But they were men of learning. So kono hito tachi wa mo fukaku manandi kita kate deshite kiri de mo, so de wa mo motto no ikata wa magi to arimasu ne perja go kara. Now they saw the star, but they also knew some old prophecies. And they probably knew the prophecies of Isaiah, for example, from the Bible. Isaiah 7.14 Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. また and also in Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 for to us a child is born to us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty god Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isia Kyusho Gosets. Itori no Midori Goga, Watash Tachi no Tamini, Umarita. Itori no Otoko no Koga, Watash Tachi ni Atai Rarita. Kin iga Kari no Kata ni Aru Sono Nawa. Odoroku Beki Shidosha. Chikara Aru Kami. Ie no Chichi. Heiwa no Kimi to Tonai Rariru. So here is the Lord God himself coming into our world, being born as a child, God the Son, the Son of God. And the, uh, the wise men, we don't know exactly how much of this they understood, but they understood at least part of this, and they understood that this was a, a very big event, and they wanted to be there to worship this child. So we can imagine the Magi setting out on the journey, uh, probably with a caravan of camels, uh, and traveling all the way to Bethlehem. So they sozo dekimasne, rakuda no caravan de toi toi Bethlehem no tokromare ikimashita. Now, this brings us to our main passage for today, Matthew chapter 2. Starting at Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. Yudia no Bethlehem de o Marini Nata Sono Toki Sensei Jutsu Magi no Gaksha Tachiga Gashino Hokara Erusum Nikite. Now, who was this King Herod? Kono Herede o wa Dare deshtaka. Well, he was the king of Israel at the time underneath the Roman Emperor. Mo Roma Tenno no Stadish de Kirimo Kono Herede o wa Mosono Israel no. And he had a reputation as a very severe and cruel man. 
という人でした。And asked, Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. He said, Yudai jin no o to shite o mari ni na te kata wa doko ni orari masu ka? Watashi tachi wa toho de sono kata no hoshi o mite no de ogami ni kite no desu. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed in all Jerusalem with him. ヘルデオキーテヘルデオワフワノヒダイタエルスナムノヒトビトモミナドヨデアタどうしてみんなはこのように困っていてでしょうかもうこのヘルデオのことはみんな困っていましてねそしてアトラシオが生まれてきて
イエニハイテミルタオサナガワハハマリアとともにおられた。彼らはアヒリフシテオサナガオオガミ。Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. タカダノハコをあけて、黄金、入庫、持ち役を贈り物として捧げた。もう贈り物は3つあったので、もう大体私たちは3人の博士たちを想像します。しかし実はその人数は書かれていないのでわかりません。Now, it mentions three gifts, so we often imagine that there were three of these wise men who came and gave these gifts. But the Bible doesn't actually record how many of them there were,、uh, so we don't know that for sure. And this painting by Gerard David shows Jesus sitting up,、uh, which portrays correctly that Jesus is probably more than a year old at this time. He's no longer a newborn child because these、uh, magi have traveled so far to see him. So, this is the first time that Jesus is sitting up, which is the first time that Jesus is sitting up, which is the first time that Jesus is sitting up, which is the first time that Jesus is s i t t i 生まれたばかりの子供ではなくて、もう一年生以上になっていると考えられます。その博士たちはもう長い道を歩いてきたので。この贈り物はどう思いますか ?What do you think of these gifts?Gold, incense and myrrh, 黄金、入庫、持つ役ですね。They're very prophetic, actually. 実はとても予言的なものです。This gold reflects that Jesus is a king because gold was offered to kings. Ogon というのは、シエスは王であることを認めています。王は、uh, その王の捧げ物をよくもらっていましたので。入庫はもうちょっと違いますね。入庫はもう神殿で、もう礼拝で救われていましたね。それで、シエスは神であることを語っているでしょう。この入庫。And the incense, well, incense was burned in the temple in worship to God. So the incense speaks of how Jesus is God come in the flesh. And what about the myrrh? The myrrh was used in burials at that time to prepare a body for burial. So it tells us that Jesus is come and he is human and he will die. And it points to the cross, of course, and Jesus' death on the cross. もう持つ役というのは、もう当時の文化の中で、埋葬の時に使われて、身体の良いのために使われたものでしたね。それで、持つ役を捧げることは、シエスは本当に、もう神でありながら人間になっていることを指して、死ぬべきのものとなっています。つまり、十字架上の死を語っています、予言的に。これは3つの素晴らしい予言的な贈り物ですけれども、一番素晴らしい贈り物は何でしょうか ?So these are three very prophetic and very important gifts, but what is the most important gift? 最高の贈り物は何でしょうか今日読んだ箇所の中で。そしてこのクリスマスの物語の中で。What is the best gift in, in what we read today in, in、uh, the Christmas story? The best gift of all? Well, the best gift, of course, is Jesus Himself come to provide for our salvation. もちろん、最高の贈り物と言ったら、それはシエスご自身ですね。私たちの救いのために、お入りになってくださった方です。For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. 神はその一人語をお与えになったほどに、よう愛された。一人語を信じる者が一人も滅ばないで永遠の命を得るためである。神様が与えてくださった救い主はもうクリスマスの最高の贈り物です。The present God gave us the gift of His Son for our salvation is of course the most wonderful gift of all. As it tells us in John 3:16, probably the most famous Bible verse of all. 聖書の中でも最も有名な聖句、ヨハネ3章16節に記録されたものもあります。So Jesus is the greatest gift of all.He's born into this world to live a human life, to experience 
all these struggles and suffering and sadness and trials that we experience as humans. So he understands us. And yet he was without sin. He never said or did a single thing wrong. And he gave his life on the cross for us that we might have eternal life. So Christmas は、そして and still today, wise men seek Jesus. They seek him because he is the source of eternal life, the source of forgiveness, and we look to him for our salvation. On the cross, he made himself the perfect sacrifice for sin. And that was to provide for the forgiveness of sins. But he did not stay in the grave. He rose on the third day, and he is alive still today, and he is with us now. And we give thanks for his presence among us through his spirit. As the Bible tells us in Romans 3.10, there is no one righteous, not even one. And so we all need this forgiveness of sins. None of us have a completely pure heart. We must turn to Jesus, the Savior of the world, and trust in him. And Jesus will hear our prayers and he will provide us with this salvation. This Christmas is the perfect time to build a relationship with Jesus either for the first time or to renew your relationship and continue it. We remember Jesus' great works for us and we give thanks for his grace and for his mercy. Let's pray. And I'll pray in Japanese this time. Nihongo de イエスクリスト父なる神様あなたから離れていました私たちは
恵みを注いでください。愛を与えてください。一人一人にあなたの見てを伸ばして祝福してください。悲しんでいる人々に新しい喜びを。苦しんでいる人々に癒しを与えてください。一人一人を支えてください。今、この言葉を聞いている方をはじめ、またご家族、ご親戚、周りの隣人にも恵みを注いでください。友人にもその恵みを与えてください。私たちはシエスの見業を感謝し、シエスと共に歩みたいですから、精霊を与えてください。その導きによって私たちは正しい生活、またあなたの前に喜びの生活ができますように。素晴らしい人生を送ることができるように助けて導きください。シーズンの尊い皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン